Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be swatching, reviewing and trying on the Wet n Wild Midnight Mermaid collection. The box is massive but it is so pretty. I mean look at that holographic print and there are some mermaid scales on the sides. And everything in the box was really well packaged. It was bubble wrapped and all the items were sealed. So this is how it looks like after I've unwrapped everything, so you're getting all three of the metallic liquid eyeliners and the four liquid eyeshadows, four new liquid catsuits with metallic finishes and the highlighting bar. The box itself is $34.99 on the Wet n Wild website and as I can see right now it is out of stock so I'm not sure when they will be restocking or if they will be restocking it at all but you can get each item individually, it's just not as value as the box if you plan on getting everything. So I'm going to be trying all of these products on my face and I will also insert some arm swatches so that you can get up close and personal with each shade and see the beautiful shimmery metallic finishes of them. And this can go quite disastrous because I'm not too sure how to use the liquid eyeshadows on my eye shape without it looking like a bruise. But I know you guys want to see how they look like on the eyes and how they blend out so I will give you just that but don't blame me if I end up looking silly. So first up we have the Mega Liner Metallic Eyeliner and there are three shades over here. The green one is called Sea Symmetry, the blue one is called Sea Dreams and the grey one is called Trident Shimmer. So on the Wet n Wild website, it says that each stroke will deliver a multicolored shimmer effect to make the eyes as alluring as a mermaid in the midnight sea. So far from swatching it on my hand, they are quite pigmented. The blue one seems to be a little bit patchy but it's fine. I mean, I think these would look great if you layer them underneath a black liner. It would really help bring the colours out. But for the sake of this video and for trying it on just to see how the colours look like on skin, I'll be using it alone. And so I'm just going to do one eye because it's going to be a ton of things to swatch on my eyes, so, yep. I think the green one is my favourite because it's the most metallic and it gives the brightest pop of colour. But they're all beautiful, I would just recommend the green one. And now moving on to the Colour Icon Liquid Eyeshadow. There are four shades and this first black one is called Mysterious Nights. The greenish blue one with a yellow shift is called Lara's Necklace. And the purple one with a yellow duochrome shift is called Moonlight Majesty. And the last one which is like a blue with a purple shift is called Aquatic Prism. So these mimic the Black Moon Cosmetics liquid eyeshadows very very well. I've always wanted to try out Black Moon Cosmetics liquid eyeshadows but they are on the pricier side. They are about $18 per tube and this is $4.99 per tube so of course I'm going to try out Wet n Wild. I mean it's black based so for my eye shape I'm not too sure how they will look like apart from using them as liners but as eyeshadows I think that is a bit intimidating for me. So I wouldn't want to spend that much on an item that I may not like. So I think this is a good start to black liquid eyeshadows. I think there are some dupes in terms of colours within this range and the Black Moon Cosmetics one. So 
you are in luck. Alright, so now time to put these on my eyes. I will be putting them on as an eyeshadow and not as a liner because I know it will work as a liner but as an eyeshadow I'm not too sure and if I end up looking really awful it's not my fault I'm just trying to show you guys how these look are so sore right now from swatching all that and there's so much glitter on my face but what I think about the liquid eyeshadows is that they dry pretty fast on the eyes so if you want to blend it out you will need to work quickly otherwise leaving it on as like a full-on metallic look is actually pretty nice. Now I did a water test and the liquid eyeliners are rather waterproof but the liquid eyeshadows are not waterproof at all so water will remove them easily and I'm not sure if the ones from Black Moon Cosmetics are waterproof but I think they might be since they are higher quality, higher priced and they are the original so. Moving on we will be looking at the highlighting bar and this is called Midnight Moon. So this is like an iridescent gold highlight with purple glitter and the purple glitter isn't obvious at all so if you've been looking at swatches online you wouldn't really notice the purple glitter because they are quite sparse and chunky but if you look at this highlighting bar from the side you can kind of see that it has a greyish base so if you put on too much I can see that you will have a grey cast on your cheekbones and that isn't very nice so I don't think you should do too much on your cheeks I'm not so sure if you can see it on camera but in person I can see like a slight gold tone to the highlight and there are purple glitters all over my cheeks um, if you look up closely I'm not so sure if it is a very flattering look because it can just look like glitter fallout and I already have a bunch of glitter from the liquid eyeshadows the highlighter has quite a dry and hard texture so it didn't really pick up very well with my fan brush so I would recommend a thicker, fluffier brush if you want to use a brush, otherwise your fingers do a great job as well. And now finally, we will be doing some lip swatches of the new metallic liquid cat suits. Wet n Wild's liquid cat suits are by far my favourite matte liquid lipstick formulas. They are so comfortable to wear on the lips and they are transfer proof and they have that true matte finish to them. So I'm really excited to try out the metallic ones and I hope they are as good.
wash shade swatched on my lips. I think the formula feels very plush. It feels like the liquid lipstick is packed full of emollients so it applies really smoothly and it just glides on your lips and it may be the applicator or it may be the formula but it feels so soft on the lips. These are not transfer proof but they do not transfer a lot as you can tell from my kiss test. Only a little bit came off on the back of my hand and a lot of it stayed put on the lips. But these do remove easily with a water-based wet wipe so that's up to you to make your judgement. I think the colours are beautiful. I love the green and the blue one. So as far as the collection goes, I think I like pretty much all of the items in the box except for the highlighting bar. I think the formula of it is just way too dry and too hard in the pan so it doesn't really pick up very well. It does give a nice goldenish glow but I can live without it and I mean it's going to cast a grey ish kind of colour on your cheekbones if you put too much anyway so I'm not a huge fan of it even though it looks really pretty with the mermaid scales on it. But the rest of the items are really really nice. I just haven't figured out how to use the liquid eyeshadows as of yet but it is so pretty. I mean just look at it. Alright so this collection is definitely a try for me. I would recommend picking it up or picking some of the items up whichever colour appeals to you. So I hope you enjoyed the swatches and my thoughts on this collection. If you have any questions or comments do leave them in the comments below so that I can get back to you. Thanks for tuning in with me today and I'll see you guys soon in my next video. Bye bye!